In this video, we're going to look at setting up um, an integral to give the arc length of a portion of the log curve. So here I'm told to set up and simplify the integral that gives the arc length of the curve y equals log x for x between 1 and 4. We know that our um, log curve looks like this. So we're looking at the length here between 1 and 4. So about this um, portion here of the curve. Okay, so we know that our arc length formula involves doing an integral over our interval from 1 to 4 of the square root of 1 plus the derivative of our function squared. So notice that y prime here, the derivative of the log function, is 1 over x. So when I have my derivative squared, I'm going to have 1 over x squared there um, under my square root. So let's just try to simplify this a little bit. We're not going to totally evaluate this, and we'll see why in a minute. I have the integral from 1 to 4. Um, this is 1 plus 1 over x squared. Okay, so maybe I could just get a common denominator out of that. Maybe that would help me a little bit. So this would be x squared plus 1 all over x squared. Okay, I know the square root of x squared is equal to the absolute value of x again, which is x if x is greater than or equal to 0, and negative x if x is less than 0. Here my bounds are between 1 and 4, so x is always positive. So I can say this is equal to the integral from 1 to 4 of the square root of x squared plus 1 all over x dx. So we actually end up with something that we can't integrate yet. So we can't integrate this yet, at least not with the, the techniques that we have so far. So we're going to need some of the techniques in the next section to be able to evaluate integrals like this. We actually need a technique called trig substitution in order to integrate something in that form. So this example is just illustrating that you can start with a relatively simple curve whose arc length you want to determine, and um, that leads to an integral for computing the arc length um, that can't be done with the techniques that we have so far. Um, so arc length integrals in general are, are known to be really difficult to um, evaluate analytically, meaning using paper and pencil kind of methods, even for, for simple functions. So one of the goals of chapter 8, which we'll be starting after we look at some more applications, will be to learn techniques for integrating an even larger class of functions.